Hello fellow game makers and welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you a cool little extension for Visual Studio Code which is pretty much just an alternative to the Spotify add-on for VS Code. Also if you like this video may consider subscribing and liking this video because it would really help me to continue making more videos like this one. So if you search on the extension on the uh, marketplace of Visual Studio for Spotify if I would spell that correctly, you have this VS Code Spotify. It's pretty cool the idea behind it, but if you don't have Spotify Premium, you won't be able to use it actually, and also on Windows it doesn't work offline. So I tried using a solution for, for example, YouTube, because I quite like to listen to music on YouTube. So when you search for Media Player on the extension page, you get quite some things, but I quite don't like them because it doesn't work with YouTube. And the only solution I found for that was this extension. It's also just called Media Player in one word. And the problem with that is that it needs two requirements. And on OS X and Linux, it's pretty easy to install those. So you would just install the Media Player add-on and then you would install uh, MPV and the YouTube downloader, two little tools you need in order to run this. MPV is a video player that works from the command prompt and YouTube DL is just a, another tool that allows you to download videos and uh, audio from websites. And on Linux and OS X that's pretty easy because you can just type those two commands into your command prompt but on Windows that does not work. Uh, so the developer says that you have to go to respective websites of MPV and YouTube DL and download it there. But that's not completely correct, so I'm now going to show you how you can actually do that. And it took me quite a while to figure that out actually. So you want to go to just the website of MPV, click on this button and open the website in your browser. And you want to go to the installation. There you can just get the Windows build by Shinakio, by this guy, I can't, really can't pronounce his name. So you want to click that link, it's just a SourceForge link. You can go to 64-bit and there you can see many builds they, they did. So this one I used before and actually there is also another version from 13 hours ago but I'm still going to use this one because now this one works. So you can click on that and it will automatically download. So once you download that file, you can extract it into another folder. I'm going to do that right here. And this folder you can copy and put it in some kind of safe directory. So in my case, I'm going to put it into my program files. Do that. And here we go. You can enter that folder. And the first thing we're going to do is execute that updater.bat as an administrator. So click yes and there we go. It will download some stuff and also install the YouTube DL for us. So that's pretty nice because we don't have to install that separately. Also, if this pops up, YouTube DL doesn't exist, proceed with downloading. Don't forget to press Y because it will then download the YouTube DL as well. Just make sure you have this YouTube DL.exe inside of here so that you have that downloaded. Next, we want to go into this installer folder, and in here we can con run this configure open glhq.bat as well as an administrator. So this will just install um, the MPV files, updated it, but in this case it already done that for us. And next we can run the MPV install and this will, again as an administrator, and this will install all of those different file types and will add them to a path on our registry. So that's why you have to run this as an administrator. And if you want to delete those entries into your registries, into your registry, you can actually uninstall this with the other .bat file with mpv uninstall. So once it says it successfully installed them, you can uh, 
just quit this and also quit this window it opens and actually it's done already the only thing you now have to do is at the root of this folder you have to put this into your path you can access your path by just uh, going to windows key and then typing environment variables in my case i have to type this in german so I can open this window right here and down here you will have a button with environment variables. I'm really sorry that this is in German right now. So you can click that and it will open your environment variables. Under system variables you can then scroll down to your path, double click that, another open window will open up. You can scroll down, click new and then paste that path to the root of that folder. Click OK, it will add that, click OK again, OK. and to test if it actually works you can now open your terminal or your cmd whatever you want and type uh, mpv in there press enter and if it pops up something like this and no error it will have worked and if you also you can check for the youtube downloader you can also do that and here we go it actually says that the usage is wrong, but it says something and does not give an error. So it actually finds that command. And that's important. So you can close all of your folders right now. So now once you've done that all, you can go ahead and restart Visual Studio Code. That's important. So do that. And then you have this little media player icon right here. And you can search for music on YouTube or on podcasts. So, for example, I'm now going to just do Electro Swing because I like to listen to that. And then you have a list of all YouTube things. And you can just play this third thing as a playlist. So just click this play icon and it will play the music. You won't be able to hear that because I muted desktop audio. But you then have this little icon right here. And you can then do your music stuff. So you can jump to the next song or move to another thing. You can also press this thing and pause it and play it. So yeah, I think that's kind of a nice thing. And I really like that. So basically that's it for this video. If you have any problems regarding this video, you might want to just drop a comment below and I'm trying to help you. And I think till then, see you next time.